Well hello, a long time no speak. It has been quite a while now since I last uploaded a video because basically I haven't had a laptop uh, so I can't edit and I had full memory cards from California and nowhere to put it because I didn't have a laptop. So yeah, that's the reason why I haven't uploaded anything. Basically my laptop broke um, at the beginning of September so I uploaded a couple of videos whilst I was on holiday but then when I came back I then had to like, sort out like an Apple appointment and all that stuff and getting it fixed and then by the time I got it fixed it was like two days before I went on holiday again um, with my mum this time at the like sort of towards the end of October um, and then I was away for a week and then I haven't had time since I got back from holiday to sit down and film a video um, so yeah that's why I haven't uploaded in a while because I was laptopless and yeah so I have so many like things that I need to sort out for my YouTube channel because today I have for you like a little mini Sephora haul from when I was in America and then I also have a normal haul coming up and then I have all my vlogs from America so I need to sort all that out and edit it all and blah 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 um, but yeah so there should be lots of videos coming up soon but that is the reason why I've had a little hiatus um, but I have a laptop now I have a free memory card and I'm filming a little Sephora haul for you today, so I'll stop waffling and get started. This time when I went to Sephora, I kind of, um, like last time I was just sort of aimlessly wandering um, when I went to Florida, but this time I sort of knew a couple of things I wanted to get and I sort of, I looked on like the Sephora's like best sellers on their website and then I looked on um, some people's blogs to see some things that you could only get in America. Um, yeah, so I kind of knew a couple of things I wanted to get, or some things you can get in the UK but might be a little bit cheaper over there, blah blah blah, um, just lots of blah blah blahs because I'm like waffling, um, but yeah, so I knew a couple of things I wanted to get and then a couple of things I just wanted to like browse a bit, so I didn't get loads of things but yeah, went back a couple of times to get different stuff, so this isn't from one Sephora, I think I bought in like three Sephoras, um, but yeah. First on my priority list is something that I didn't buy in Florida and I regretted instantly the moment I came home and that is the Lancome Oscillation Mascara. Now this is my favourite ever mascara of all time, ever, ever, ever. So I used to work in Debenhams which is a department store here in the UK if you're not from the UK and I was on the perfume bit and which was next to the Lancome counter and when this was initially coming out in the UK I was told about it in advance and I was like oh my god I need one so I got it as soon as it came out in the UK and then all of a sudden they just discontinued it it was only on sale for like a year or two before they discontinued it with like no explanation couldn't find it anywhere and now they only seem to sell it in America I don't know if they sell it I don't think they sell it in Europe I think they only have it in America so yeah it's the little one that's got like a little button on it and it vibrates so like separates your eyelashes it just makes my eyelashes seem like super long and super like separated and I just love it a lot and I probably should have got more than one but I think I'm going to America next year again so I will be getting another one next year but oh, it's just the best mascara ever just I love it I love it love it love it so if you haven't tried this then maybe try it because it's great the next thing is something that I wanted to try because so many people have spoken about it and um, yeah it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Brow Pencil so I went into the shop and I said um, could someone help me because I don't know what shade I would be or anything I just want a bit of advice um, so this guy came over and helped me and like put it on my eyebrows and he showed me the pencil or like the powder like duo thing um, and I'm like a lazy person when it comes to eyebrows. I can't be faffed like doing powder. I want something easy. So I went for the pencil and I got it in the shade chocolate. But I'm really, really peeved off about this because I got it out to use it last week and I took the lid off and the little nib was there. I was like, oh, okay. And then I went to the other side and thought, oh yeah, little brush just fiddling about with it, went back and took the lid off the like the pencil end and it's just gone, like the nib is gone and I've twisted and twisted and twisted and twisted and twisted and twisted and it's still not there, I've twisted both ways, I've shook it about, I have no freaking idea what has happened to the nib because I didn't snap it off, it's not on the floor like it's fallen out or something and I just twist and twist and twist and twist and it's not there, so I'm really peeved off about this because it's a complete waste of money because I don't know, I think it was like twenty dollars 
and there's just nothing in there, like nothing. So I kind of want to get one, another one because I wanted to try it and see what it was like, but it's literally not in there. So I don't know whether I want to waste my money buying another one in case this happens again, or I don't know if I can go and complain somewhere, or they'd be like, well, what do you want us to do? You bought it in America. I don't know. I'm just not happy about this because I was looking forward to using it and now it's a waste of my money. So, I'm not happy, Anastasia. Speaking of Anastasia, I also bought the contour kit. So, I got the light to medium one um, because I'm naturally a very pale person. Um, and yeah, I'd seen loads of people talking about this and. Yeah, looks like this, and I don't really know too much about contouring, so I'm gonna have to watch some videos about contouring because I'm like a makeup noob, I don't really know much. Um, but so many people have spoken about this, and I thought it was probably a good place to like start because it's got lots of different shades and lots of people use it and rave about it, so I thought it would be quite a good one to try. Something that was on the top, like bestsellers on the Sephora website, was the um, Becca Jaclyn Hill shimmering skin perfecter pressed champagne pop um so i saw this on there and i thought oh, i feel like i've read some blog posts on this um so i like googled it and i'd figured out that i'd read one from in the fro and one from lily melrose and i was like oh if they like it then i want to give it a try um so it looks like this and it is like very 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 like glowy um so i've used it once and i used it for my cousin's um wedding the other week um, and it is really really nice i don't own any highlighters it's the first like highlighter thing that i've ever bought because again i'm lazy um so i don't like two loads and loads of like makeup and like layers of stuff i'm lazy um so i've this is the first highlighter i've bought and i quite like it i do think it's like an occasion one because it is very very shimmery but yeah but when it said as well that it was like a Sephora exclusive, I thought, well, I can't get it in the UK definitely, so I'm gonna buy it now. Another mascara that I'd seen on like people's Instagrams and I'd heard like talked about um, and was also and like I think it was on the it might have been on like the top Sephora things or it was one of the ends where they have like the top things. Um, but that is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So I haven't tried this yet, I haven't opened it, but I'm gonna give it a whirl and see what I think because yeah, I thought I would try it. I don't know too much about it. I just bought it because other people said it was good. One, another thing that I definitely wanted to see if I could get in America, because I thought it might be a bit cheaper, um, is one of the Hourglass Opaque Rouge Liquid Lipsticks. So the one I wanted was Raven, because I'd read that um, Margot Robbie had worn it to, I think it was either the Os it might have been the Oscars, it's like the Oscars or the Golden Globes or something like that and I'd read that her makeup, I think it was this one, I'm hoping it was this one, um, but yeah it's just like one of the little liquid lipsticks, it's very like bright red with like a hint of orange in it and yeah I just thought it would be cheaper in America, I know you can get it in the UK but I thought it would be cheaper over there. So I got that and then the final thing I got was one of the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencils, now I love Anna from Viviana, I'm really worried that I say it wrong, Viviana, Viviana does makeup, um, I love her blog and her videos, sorry I've got like an itch in my face, um, but she raves about these velvet lip pencils and um, whilst I was in Sephora I was on her blog trying to figure out which shade I wanted and like checking like her swatches and all that kind of stuff and it was getting really agged with me because I was taking ages but I wanted to check that I got one that I really liked and one that she really recommended. Um, so I got the Dragon Girl um, Velvet Matte Lip Pencil and yes, I I really like lip pencils and matte ones. Um, I don't really like too much shine on my lips. I don't like really like pearlized lipsticks or lip glosses or anything. I like matte things. Um, so yeah, this is the first one of these that I have tried. I haven't actually used it yet because I was saving it for this video. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to trying this and maybe seeing if there's any other shades I want to get if I like this one. So yeah, that is the final thing that I picked up. Um, there were a couple of things that I wanted to get when I was going out there, um, like the fresh like sugar lip balms, but they were like really expensive and I thought it's just a lip balm. I know everyone thinks it's amazing, but do I really want a lip balm for that much money? So I didn't get one of them. And there was a couple of other things, I can't think what they were, but um, 
yeah there was a couple of things that I planned to get and then when I got there I was like do I really really want it that much so I didn't get them so it's only like a moderate haul like I know a lot of other people have got loads and loads but um, that is plenty for me right now um, and I don't splurge on makeup that often so it was a bit of a splurge for me there was also something else I wanted to get but I didn't actually get it while I was there but I was thinking I might get it here and it's the Kevin Aquan can't think of what it's called now but um, some kind of powder I don't know what it's called um, so that I did want to get but then I didn't end up getting and then I really 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 wanted the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills um, liquid lipsticks but I don't know where they sell them so if you know where they sell them and you can get them in the UK then let me know because I really wanted to get one and I couldn't find it they didn't have it in Sephora and then I looked in like I think I looked in Macy's or Bloomingdale's or one of them and I couldn't see them so I don't understand where you buy them so if anyone can tell me where you buy them then I'd love to know um, but yeah that is my waffle about the makeup that I've bought if you have any other recommendations of makeup that I should buy or things that I should get that I'm like new to because I don't buy a lot of makeup I'm not like I'm not a skilled makeup person if you watch my channel you'll know this um, yeah I'm waffling on now I'm just keep going and going so I will just end it here because I've talked for long enough um, but thank you for watching if you're not already subscribed then if you could subscribe that would be awesome if you already subscribed then thanks for sticking around and I'll see you in my next video hopefully